SCP-392, a plant now found in Site-103, and formerly found in the households of nobility. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures, all living SCP-392 instances are to be held in a standard greenhouse sector at Biological Research Site-103. Population of SCP-392 instances is to be maintained at an upper limit of 10. Selected SCP-392 seeds are to be extracted and kept in cryonic storage at Biosite 103. Description: SCP-392 is an artificial plant species created via Evite thaumaturgy, resembling the species Prunus persica, peach. According to A Chronicle of the Divas, creation of SCP-392 was attributed to Divite Matriarch Wayak of the Wackland circa 800 BCE. While originally perceived as an act of social deviance in Divite society, cultivation was tolerated and adopted by matrilineal descendants of the Wackland located in contemporary Central Asia and Xinjiang, China. While SCP-392 is physiologically similar to that of P. persica, one significant difference is that SCP-392 does not produce fruits from the ovary upon flowering. Instead, it produces a series of physically identical male human heads. DNA analysis indicates that they are of the same individual, as the tattoos found on the heads are indicative of human concubinus belonging to Divite matriarchs, it is postulated that the heads grown from SCP-392 represent a human concubinus of the matriarch Wackwack. The physiology of heads grown from SCP-392 is mostly identical to that of a human. Although the heads lack eyelids and the seed for SCP-392 is located at the prefrontal cortex. In addition, the heads are capable of responding to external stimuli, as indicated by various reflex actions. PET scans of attached heads have identified neural activity in the brain. Notably, rate of eye movement and neural activity are consistently higher when female humanoid figures are within the head's visual axis as compared to other types of objects. Below is an abridged list of reflex actions and responses obtained from heads grown from SCP-392. Excerpts. For complete experiment log, see document 392 she. Test 392. 01. Subject D-690. Protocol D-690 is instructed to wave her hand in front of a head, attached to SCP-392. Results irises of the head move according to the movement of D-690's hand. Test 392. 02. Subject D-690. Protocol D-690 is instructed to caress the head attached to SCP-392. Results irises of the head move toward the region where it is touched. Jaws of the head open at approximately 5 degrees. No vocalization produced. Test 392. 03. Subject D-690. Protocol D-690 is instructed to place her lips over the lips of a head attached to SCP-392. Results mouth of the head opened and tongue extended in an attempt to touch D-690's lips and tongue. When detached from SCP-392, neural activity and reflex actions from the heads will cease. The heads can be plucked, or will fall from the plant naturally via berichery. When detached from SCP-392, the head will gradually undergo decomposition, allowing the seed to be exposed to water and oxygen. Decomposed matter from the head will then serve as an organic fertilizer for germination. SCP-392 was discovered in the Katsura Imperial Villa at Kyoto, Japan on data, expunged slash 1945. Ties to Divite culture are later identified via cross-reference of tattoos found on the heads, and this document is subsequently updated with relevant findings from Divite sources known to the Foundation. Addendum 392, 1, SCP-392 instances planted at Kyoto was conducted during the Pacific War, as part of a ritual, to pray for national prosperity. Those specimens originated from a single SCP-392 seed, which was among the gifts from Emperor Yang of the SUI dynasty in response, to tribute sent by Japanese envoys. 
This practice originated from a description of SCP-392 by the envoy Onono Imoko, alleging it to be a symbol of prosperity only found in the households of nobility. Addendum 392, 2. Due to the mention of the SUI dynasty and confirmation of Devite involvement, a copy of A History of China altered by SCP-140 to include Devite Chinese interactions was consulted for additional information. The book mentioned SCP-392 as one of the items looted from captured Devite cities by Chinese soldiers as early as the Warring States period, C-475 BCE, 221 BCE. SCP-392 would be cultivated by these soldiers, who harvested and skinned the heads. The skulls would then be passed off as executed enemy combatants, and presented to officials in exchange for promotion and other rewards, for instance peerage titles, lands, slaves. The descendants of many clans involved in SCP-392 cultivation gained prominent positions in various Chinese dynasties, up to the imperial families of various dynasties. See document 392 Sue for more information on the topic. Addendum 392, 371, Specialized Containment Proposal, Project Yin Yang, Subcategory, Argus 100. The following proposal consists of a cross-test between SCP-392 and SCP-2733. Usage of SCP-392 and SCP-2733 circumnavigate ethical issues regarding the use of a live human and long-term maintenance of a live observer. Said cross-test consists of the following phases. 1D class personnel will be involved in the tending of SCP-392 for a period of one month and will not be involved in other SCP projects. This is to facilitate priming. Said personnel will then be instructed to open SCP-2733 while thinking of SCP-392. Due to SCP-2733's anomalous effects, it is hypothesized that a head will manifest. SCP-2733 will be kept open for a test period of one year to examine long-term survival of the head. If long-term survival of the head is possible further application under Project Yun Yang, subcategory, Argus 100, will be considered. Footnotes 1. See SCP-3140 and SCP-3399 for other plant species created via Devite Thaumaturgy. 2. Doctor. Data expunged speculates that tolerance of SCP-390 to cultivation might be attributed to the decentralized model of Evite polities in the form of the city-state and absolute power wielded by matriarchs in these city-states circa 800 BCE. See shifts within Evite civilization for more information. 3. Notably, the leading figures of the Wag clan in those regions were stated to be of partial human descent and supposedly ostracized by conventional Evite clans. The ostracization is speculated to be a significant factor towards the Wa clan's decline circa 300 BCE due to wars with the Kin state. 4. Project Yin Yang is an extrapolation of data expunged under controlled settings. As such, only approved safe class anomalies will be utilized. Subcategory, Argus 100 denotes experimental containment strategies against anomalies requiring visual perception to remain inactive. End of file.